Chicken here, bring you another Boom Beach video. In today's video, guys, we're going to be diving into a couple operation attacks. And uh, we actually have a bit of a plan this time, so I'm hoping it goes well. And uh, I wanted to say, too, that um, if you haven't seen it already yet, guys, uh, I'm going to link Beard Holic's vid video down below. He um, he got some sneak peeks from the Boom Beach team, the developer iPad, the Supercell uh, squad, whatever you want to call them. Um, about He got Forlorn Hope gameplay, and he got um, Barbed Wire specific gameplay. So he's got two videos out. Uh, I'm going to link those down below, guys. Uh, definitely check them out. Um, I just watched them now. He, he put them out this morning, so maybe you've already seen it. Or sorry, he put them out. <clears throat> he put them out yesterday. So I'm, I'm doing this video um, the uh, backwards time. I, I don't know, but um, but yeah, definitely check those out if you haven't already. Um, my initial thoughts on everything that he showed. So it looks like um, it looks like the um, <clears throat> the map is. Like, there's only a few um, operations that actually have the barbed wire in them within Forlorn Hope. So, there's the Forlorn Hope operation that you start, and then there's only, like, uh, there was only, like, two out of the six bases, I think, something like that, that actually had the barbed wire in them. So, it's, they're completely new bases that have the barbed wire. So, uh, yeah, we'll get into that a little more in a second. Uh, first of all, we've got to, uh, we got an operation attack here, guys. Fully boosting. Um, Centaur, GB top rocket launcher, take out the right shield gen, smoke the other two. So we're going to see how this goes, guys. Um, GB the top rocket launcher, so how much GB you're going to need on that? Wow, that's a lot of GB. And then he wants us to crush these four shield gens and then smoke and hit the other two rocket launchers. So I think we can do that, guys. I think we can do that. Um, so we're going to start out with a barrage. And... We're going to need, what are we going to need? Um, 32,000 barrages. Um, uh, so I think we'll, we'll go two barrage and then four artilleries, if I'm not mistaken. Four, no, three artilleries. Um, I actually, I don't think I can get both of them orders. I'll try, but uh, two. Can we get both of them? Kind of. And three. Okay, so I think that was the best way to do that. And then from here, guys, we're going to be... Um, I'm going to place some critters on those mines there. Uh, yeah, that's how I'm going to do that. I'm going to go just like this. And that should open it up enough for us. Oops, put the flare on. Okay, so we'll have to flare a little early. I put it too far over to the, uh, to the corner there. Two, three, four, five, six, seven... Eight. Okay, okay, okay. <clears throat> that rock launcher mortar shouldn't touch us. I don't know why that happened. Uh, so something like that. I think we're gonna walk the girls up there like that, guys. Uh, that rock launcher shouldn't be in range, but I do have to smoke past the machine guns. Okay, so what is gonna be range over here? Just that one rock launcher, I think. Okay. Actually, we're going to reflare them right here and smoke. That way, I don't have to shock that far rocket launcher. Uh, I am gonna have to shock a couple machine guns, I believe. We'll throw a We'll go ahead and throw that one down. I'll throw some critters on the outside, and then we gotta smoke on up over once these go down, guys. Uh, I might have to shock again. Machine guns. Okay, I missed that one. Okay, okay, okay. All right, so we're gonna flare up this way. Okay. All right, and now we're gonna come up right over here. Now, those flares were kind of difficult because I had to launch them out really quickly. Um, bang, bang, smoke, smoke. And hopefully we have enough. I don't know if we'll have enough uh, GBE left to do this, guys. Uh, I'm gonna flare onto here. And then I'm going to shock right about there, I think. And I'm gonna throw a heal down. Uh, I shouldn't. I shouldn't use the heal. I should have used the extra GBE for the flare. Okay. Uh, hopefully we can take this down, guys, before the mortars melt us and everything. Can we get it? Can we get it? Oh, okay. 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 <sighs> All right. All right. That wasn't bad. That wasn't bad. But yeah. Any. Anyways, the stuff the beard beardaholic showed. Um. It was um. 
basically zugas have to walk through the barbed wire twice in order to uh to die um i kind of wish that he went into more like detail and stuff like I, 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 I gotta admit, I was a little salty that, um, that, that I didn't get the, the Supercell footage to show you guys because there's so much more stuff I would have done with it. But uh, anyways, it's still cool to have. I want you to check out his video. It's really good. And um, we'll open the chat here. And um, yeah, basically it looks like um, it looks like an extra smoke because when the Zugas walk through the barbed wire, they slow down. So an extra smoke in a med kit, it looks like that's all you need to get through it. So I mean... That's not, like, it sucks, it's huge, but it's not impenetrable. It's not impenetrable. Okay, so that's my quick thoughts on that, guys, and we'll see you in a second for the next Operation Attack. And we're back, guys. So there's one thing that I keep forgetting to mention is um, where we're at in the standings here. When when I joined uh, these guys, when, when we started, they were around, like, between 8,000 and 6,000, somewhere in there. So we're actually moving up like incredibly fast, like in the in the space of what, like has it even, has it even been like a week yet? We've moved up um, like six thousand, four thousand spaces. Like it's just crazy how quickly we're getting up here. So you see the it, the ten man's not like it used to be. We used to um, I, I, I don't know if I said it in the video before, but I was in the top fifty ten man. We were in like the thirties or something for the longest time, and we were running uh, tinderbox with mostly skanks and a couple zuka attacks here and there. But now, 10-man has been uh, it's been stepped up a little. So you see everyone's doing Stronghold now. So so that's where we're at. <clears throat> so they want me to uh, they want me to go ahead and do um, Commodore because I know I can solo that one and it's going to be best for the guys. So we're going to go ahead and uh, dive on into Combo here, guys. Uh, okay, okay, so this one we're going to need, yeah, three shocks. Um, rinse, repeat, exact same as it always is, guys. It's not hard. Um, barrage halfway down the second boom cannon. Uh, artillery right in the middle of these three mines. Hopefully we didn't fat thumb it there, did we? Yeah, okay, that's good. And then critter box, and you point the critters right on the corner of the cannon, and they're going to jump around because of the wall and because of the space. They're going to jump around in a complete square and take out the rest of the mines for you. Now, you only have to smoke on the landing, obviously you don't have to on this one because there's no rocket launcher, but sometimes you'll get um, either all rocket launchers where the machine guns are, or um, you'll get a couple just randomly spaced in like that. So that's just something to be aware of, so you don't do it like me sometimes and just like blindly start like, oh, it's Commodore, like I know how to attack this, and then just kind of throw your guys down, they all just die. Uh, so don't do that, guys, but um, okay, so... I wanted to see if we could two smoke this landing. I guess not. Um, I didn't lose any guys there. But yeah, so I guess we have to use three smokes on the uh, on the thing there, guys. Um, there's no way around those machine guns, unfortunately. But uh, we should make pretty quick work of this. Uh, I think I'm gonna put the smoke down a little earlier there, so the flamethrower doesn't uh, doesn't touch us up at all, guys. Back, back, back. But yeah, definitely check out Beardaholic's video on uh, Forlorn Hope and the, the barbed wire in action. It was cool to see, for sure. Uh, like I said, I'm going to have those linked down below. Bang, bang. Now, don't flare onto the boom can. Okay, that could have been bad. Okay, so... I think... Am I going to need to... Yeah, I'm going to need a shot. So, there's no way to, uh, to get... To prevent them from walking out now, unfortunately, which is really annoying. Uh, oh, are we not going to do this? I said this last time, too. Uh, if that shock launcher fires, we might be roasted, guys. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know. It's all, it always seems a lot weirder when I'm doing it. Like, it, it seemed like I, I flared to the... I, I put the shocks down way too early there, but, uh, like, we barely... We, we actually lost quite a few, I guess, but, um... Um, yeah, basically, that's the, that's the combo, um, plan. Pretty cut and dry. Um, they're working on, uh, they're working on something else here for, uh, Tertia, I think. We'll go ahead and show the note, uh, the notes that we got. One. <laughs> yeah, so pretty, pretty detailed, like, uh, expertise notes here, guys. Um, so what does he say here? One, five o'clock, so, twelve o'clock, uh, one o'clock, three o'clock, uh, four o'clock, so five o'clock-ish right there. 
one or does he mean one o'clock five shots one two I don't know what he means guys <laughs> Um, so yeah, let me know what you think of that, uh, down below in the comments, um, we'll go ahead and we'll do up a quick player base here, guys, just because we can, um, just because we can, right here, we'll dive on in really quickly here, holy jeez, this guy's, uh, got a pretty monstrous base here, I don't, I don't know if we're gonna be able to do this with, uh, the amount of Zookas that we're missing, but we'll go ahead and, uh, give it the hashtag chicken, uh, we'll give it the hashtag chicken, guys, um, so GB there. Uh, so this is going to be actually pretty tricky. Um, it is a corner base, but I don't have all my Zookas, even though I have full damage. He has such a massive um, ice boost. Um, not that his boost is insane, but um, the fact that he has four health statues and two boosted blues is going to make this really difficult. Um, so I'm going to flare down here. Plus, I don't have all my girls, so I'm not gonna have um, I'm not gonna have insane, insane damage. Like I w absolutely, for non-boosted base, I'd probably be able to one-shot it uh, with this amount. But um, I don't know. This one could go. This one could go either way. Well, we'll we should be able to tell um, once we get the first shot off if we're gonna have any chance or not. Bang, bang. And I'm gonna have to reflare again, unfortunately. that. Careful, careful, careful. Bang, bang, bang. Yeah, I don't think so, guys. I do not think so. Yeah, look, look at that. We're doing hardly any damage on that shield. That is nuts. We might not even get the shield down. Wow, wow, wow. So we'll, we'll take a look at the health after this. I'll do it with, uh, with warriors or something. Actually, I could, I could probably do it pretty easily with all my Zookas, so I might as well just load Zookas up again. We'll take a look at, at uh, how much shield health uh, that was, because he had like five or six ice or something ridiculous. Uh, one, two, three, four, five ice. Both masterpieces boosted. Um, 500k shield, which isn't that much, but uh, for the amount of Zookas I had, I guess it was a lot. But anyways, guys, that's going to wrap it up for the video today. Make sure to leave a like if you found it interesting, entertaining, or informative. Check out Beardaholics videos that I will be linking to you down below in the comments. Let me let me know what you think of Forlorn Home coming up. Um, what, do you, what do you think of the uh, barbed wire gameplay? Um, is it as simple as just a smoke and a med kit? That's all it's going to cost us, or is there more to it that the chicken's missing? Uh, definitely interested to hear your thoughts on that, and uh, we'll see you in the next one, guys. Chicken out. <laughs>